And today I filmed a makeup tutorial on the look that I am currently wearing. I wear this makeup whenever I want something a little bit more bronzy or something a little bit more glam than my everyday makeup, but something that's still pretty easy. Without further ado, let's just get started with the video. Hey guys, so we're starting off with a bit of skincare, and here I'm just moisturizing my lips using some chapstick and removing any dirt or oil with a micellar water. And then I'm going to moisturize my face using my Proactive Daily Complexion Perfecting Hydrator. Next, I'm just filling in and shaping my brows using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette. Since it's spring and we're entering into summer, it's especially important for me to prime my eyelids because I typically get really oily eyes. Here, I'm using an e.l.f. $1 eyelid primer. Can catch my breath. The lid color that I'm using today is Pewter from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm just placing that all over my lids using a flat shader brush. My crease and transition color is also from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm using the shade Taupe. The eye look that I'm going for today is really warm and really bronzy so I want to make sure everything is nicely blended since we're using shimmery and matte shadows. To bring some brightness back into the inner corner of my eye, I'm using a little bit of light gold and just blending it using that flat shader brush. Now I'm just repeating these steps on my other eye. My eyeliner today is my NYX Collection Neora Liquid Black Liner. The foundation that I'm using here is Maybelline's Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation, I believe it's called. It's a really dewy foundation and sometimes it looks cakey on me, so to combat this, I am using a beauty blender to blend it in. I'm using two concealers today. The first one that I'm using is a Peachy Tone Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25. And since it's peachy toned, it's really good at covering up purple and blue tones. My highlighting concealer is from the same, and I'm just putting that under like my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. So basically all the areas I would highlight. I've really been enjoying using two concealers in order to color correct and highlight because it makes my concealer look less cakey. Starting off with my powdery face stuff, my contour shade is going to be my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I just put it in my cheekbone area, in my hairline area, and a little bit on my jawline. My blush is an orangey shade from Too Faced. It's one of their Love Flush blushes in the shade I Will Always Love You. I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette in order to set my concealer and then a little bit of Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal to highlight my cheekbones. To prep for falsies, I'm just using my CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara on the top and bottom lashes. And while my falsies are drying, I'm using Max Del Rio all over my lips. And then I'm using my NYX um, Butter Gloss in the shade Angel Food Cake to top that off. Actually right here you can see me putting on my highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones because my eyelashes weren't dry yet. But here I am, I'm popping them on and these are from Amazon. Uh, I don't I, I don't really know what these are called, they're like Chinese, I, I don't know. If you want to know, I'm going to put it in the description box. But here I'm just using some highlighter on my collarbone and on my shoulders in order to emphasize my bone structure and so that I look hydrated. As always, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and if you comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And it really helps me out when you guys share my videos with your friends or your family members, so I'd really appreciate that too. And if you have an Instagram, I would really appreciate it if you would follow me at odangdanny with two eyes. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!